<laughs> what's going on yo uh much love coach much love so i'm going to talk to you guys about my community posts on the main your boy rockley page because i've because i've been saying some out-of-pocket stuff right and people are going to wonder why why does he say this out-of-pocket stuff it's because over the years especially on one piece videos no matter what i say people will find something to nitpick about it so it puts me in a position or a state of mind that no matter what I do, people are going to say something. So I might as well say whatever the hell I want to say. So in the case of Cracker versus Luffy, I go, Luffy is drastically stronger than Cracker. And then someone commented, you're wrong. Drastically stronger is an understatement. And I was like, what? That's an understatement? And then proceeded to write an essay on why I'm wrong. Because Cracker is beyond drastically stronger than Luffy. You see, when people say things like that, <laughs> it only leads me to be like, yeah, no matter what I say, I mean, I'm just going to screw this up. So I'm just going to say whatever. Uh, and have fun with it because I enjoy the content. Another reason that sometimes you'll see me under uh, uh, underwhelming reaction by someone like Kaido when he first gets introduced is because two things. Sometimes y'all been hyping somebody up so much ahead of time i'm waiting to see what you guys are hyped up about right so this homie just lands and that was supposed to get me excited and i'm like he's supposed to do something and it didn't happen here so i'm like oh that must have been the guy they were talking about but i, I didn't see him do anything right there's a little caveat it was all the feats that this kaido person has done so i'm, I'm gonna talk about that right and the other thing is if i say something wrong Back to contradicting myself in the beginning of this video, a bunch of people say something. So sometimes I'm like, I don't even feel like saying nothing, man. I'm just going to wait this one out, let the content marinate, right? It all depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm a little bit more, uh, I'm ready to be in the streets. And other times I got to tuck away the chain. I'm like, you know what? I don't want any problems today. But anyways, so let me talk about my my underwhelming thoughts to uh, Kaido being introduced and the feats that Kaido was listed, listing. Because it's the same trait why... People are like, yo, you are underestimating Big Mom. You know, Luffy, Luffy's going to struggle. Man, you guys got to remember, she's one of the four emperors and all this other stuff. Guys, I don't really care about stats on paper when I'm encountering something because I'm not really a visual person in terms of reading, right? Reading doesn't do much for me. I'm not a reader. It's one of the reasons why I have a hard time pronouncing names. It bites me in the butt. I like to watch things, and I like to experience things, right? So you could tell me all day Kaido stats, Big Mom stats. I'll read them, and then people are looking at me like, see, now you're supposed to get excited. You see these stats? And I'm just like this. Until this man moves his a finger and tell Big Mom, now I'm seeing Big Mom put in work. Pop in the ass! And does Ikaku Sovereign, whatever that shit is. I'm like, oh! It's not just talk. Like, she's fucking people up, you know? Anyways, anyways, that's how I am. Until I start seeing the feats happening, then I'm just... There's a, there's a thing, I think it's called a, a bar, a bard, like uh, like in The Witch or whatever, and they just go talking shit, and they exaggerate the shit to make the person look good or whatever. And just growing up and where I grew up, people would talk, yo, that person's from New York. You know, they was in... You know, three fights a day, bro. That's what they do. You're not supposed to challenge that person. You know, I'm used to that. So until I see what you can do, I'm just never generally impressed. It's, just, it's also the way I learn and take in information. Again, I'm not even a reader. So, like, you know, I'll read something and not even realize I read it or it went over my head. But when I see it, I'm like, wow, that's what happened. Sometimes in these reactions, they'll say something and I'll be calm. And then I'll, then I'll say, oh, she's really going to burn down the building. And a drunkable will look at me like, yeah, that's what they said. And it's like, yeah, they said it. But <laughs> it's one thing to say it and then actually do it. I read her say she's going to burn down the whole school. But now she's actually burning down the school. And that is way more impactful than just reading it. So that's what goes on, man. Like when someone Luffy's fighting this cracker guy. And I, I, I see, you know, the bounty of cracker. I understand that like, yo... People don't even get to Big Mom. They they reach Cracker and it's over. Okay? I'm not going to say the Mochi's brother's name because I already butcher it enough. But it's like basically a Katakuri. It's like, I know how to spell it. But it's pronouncing it. That's a whole other ball game. But yeah, I saw the bounty. 
I understand that he's a problem, but uh, until I saw him in action, because this is what happened. I said, uh, I said Luffy is drastically stronger, and on the per. So, anyways, I lost my train of thought because I actually realized what I was supposed to say, and I had to put that in the later, early, later or uh, earlier part of the video. But yeah, man, that's how it is. That that's how that's how I take in the content. That's why it's like, man, no matter what I say, people are gonna find a problem with it. What you put on paper is not impressive to me. It's what you do that I'm like, oh, damn, this is the real deal. And how many times do you watch a shonen and someone is way overpowered, but somehow the main character just prevails? One Piece is obviously so different, but it's like, it's still a hard thing to fathom. It's like, yeah, we're going to get through this. And the thing is, Luffy gets through it. He does. It's just it's painstakingly. It doesn't happen as smoothly as one would expect. But the bottom line, he's going to get through it. You know? And what else am I supposed to do? Oh, no! Luffy is Big Mom! Please run away! Ah, oh, man, let's, let's, let's whoop... What does Luffy say? He gonna whoop that ass. Why should I be any different? Everyone understands Luffy. But when Lee had the same energy as Luffy, nah, that's not cool. And you know why? I get it, because there's only one uh, main character, right? Maybe that... No, there's not. There's a whole ship. So that can't even work. I have a feeling I understand why people do that as well. This is my ending part of the video. I think people get at me when I am uh, underestimating these villains because of their own way of thinking. And I have a feeling I know which type of fans will think that way, but I don't want to call anybody out. So I would like to see from now on, when you have an opinion, to say your opinion and include your three favorite characters. That way, I know where you stand at the time you made the comment. For example, if your favorite person is Zoro, I got, a, I got a certain mentality from you. If your favorite person is Luffy, yo, I already know you're with me. I got no problems. If your favorite person is Usopp, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. So that's my final thoughts, man. What do you guys think? You guys like this kind of video? Just me kicking it with you guys. Uh, drop a comment below. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. If you're not following on Twitter, much love. Appreciate if you do some. Also active on TikTok. So I hope to see many of you guys on my, uh, on my other platforms later. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video, and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock T. Lee.